You are now muted. You are now unmuted. You are now muted. Uh, good morning, class. Today, uh, we need to complete this topic that we have started last time. Uh, I hope sidewise uh, you must be having classes on unit third by Dr. A.K. Unial. You can ask for notes on that topic from sir as well. So global climate change and forests, as we have studied, what is climate change? We talked about that it is long term change in average weather conditions. Weather conditions means temperature, precipitation and the wind. Precipitation, not only rainfall. When we say precipitation, then all the forms of precipitation are there, right? Chaiwo rainfall ho, snow ho, uh, these, um, uh, what do we call them? This uh, frosty conditions, all those are the part of it. Then we talked about IPCC, Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. It is one of the organization that is working on it on international level. Then uh, as, as per these organizations, names are also different uh, names in the sense, definitions for, of climate change is different. Another organization is UNFCC, United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. So. Uh, more or less they have given definitions but in general climate change when we say then it is long term change in the climate conditions right then we also talked about factors of climate change natural factors and artificial factors and for this we have uh, uh, done a se one separate uh, uh, presentation in last class in may I say natural factors may I say we said volcanic eruption ocean currents solar variations forest fires similarly artificial may human activities those are uh, responsible for emission of greenhouse gases and forest fire is also in artificial factors as uh, earlier i told you there are 95 percent even 99 according to certain studies percent forest fires are deliberately uh, uh given uh, done by uh, uh, human right so these are the factors those we have studied then uh, we also talked about what is carbon sequestration because uh, as per your syllabus you need to know about carbon sequestration so it is a simple thing when there is capture and then secure storage of carbon in any sink then we call it as carbon sequestration so it refers to capture and secure storage or storage capture kaha hoga in any sink can anybody name me the sink of carbon forest where this soil. capture forest very good it's not only forest soil but in general we can say soil Viswaraj. okay very good yes any other sink there are three main sinks of carbon Okay, I'm repeating it for all of you. It is the biggest one is ocean, then soil, and then biomass. Particularly, it is tree biomass. And uh, earlier also, I told you as there is photosynthesis uh, process in trees, so they utilize carbon dioxide oxide into it, and that is converted into biomass. Biomass means wood that we do have. So, apke aspas jitni bhi wood hai, around 50% of weight of that wood is carbon inside it right and until it gets burnt or degraded decomposed till that time that carbon is securely stored in the this wood 
so it is one of the appropriate sink right so carbon sequestration is capture and secure storage of carbon in an appropriate sink now forest and carbon sequestration how forests are playing a role in carbon sequestration so first of all keep it in your mind that when we talk about forest then in forest there is trees right then there is shrubs grasses soil that whole is forming forest ecosystem okay now when forest and carbon sequestration we say then forests help stabilize the climate change right how it stabilizes climate forests regulate ecosystems in ecosystem services or in role of forests we talked about it forests protect biodiversity forest play very important role in carbon cycle i just told you via photosynthesis activity they take it up and during night time via respiration co2 will be released out also by decomposition co2 from the trees will release back to the soil and then it will again remain stored in the soil so forests have very very important role in carbon cycle forests they support livelihood and they help drive sustainable growth these are the things via which climate stabilization we may achieve from the forests right then if we say what is the role of forest in climate change then very interestingly you should understand this thing that forests act as cause and as solution of greenhouse gas emissions right hum greenhouse gas ki baat kyu kar rahe hain again in last class thoda sa aapko recall karo where there we talked about greenhouse gases are actually responsible for increase in the temperature and why we are very much concerned about temperature because temperature rise is very uh, accelerated comparative to pre um uh, industrial era right so it is very important to talk about greenhouse gas emission and forests are cause as well as solution for greenhouse gas emission very interesting abhi tak to hum keh rahe the forest तो सोल्यूशन है सोल्यूशन है बट नाउ वी आर सेइंग व्हेन वी वी टॉक अबाउट रोल देन दे आर आल्सो कॉज कॉज कैसे है अराउंड 25 परसेंट ऑफ ग्लोबल एमिशन कम फ्रॉम द लैंड सेक्टर राइट एंड लैंड सेक्टर इज द सेकंड लार्जेस्ट सोर्स ऑफ ग्रीन हाउस गैस एमिशन आफ्टर एनर्जी सेक्टर एनर्जी एनर्जी सेक्टर इज रेस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर मैक्सिमम ग्रीन हाउस गैस एमिशन एंड आफ्टर दिस लैंड सेक्टर इज इम्पॉर्टेंट अबाउट एंड वेन वी टॉक अबाउट लैंड सेक्टर मीन्स वन लैंड वी आर कन्वर्टिंग फॉर सम अदर पर्पज सो बिकॉज ऑफ दीज प्रैक्टिस global emission of greenhouse gases is there and it is the second largest sector on it what data says it says about half of these half of these means half of the greenhouse gases comes from deforestation and forest degradation right jo securely humne capture karke rakha tha carbon it is releasing back to the atmosphere because of forest degradation and deforestation activities and it is around 5 to 10 gigatons g represents gigaton giga is 10 to the power 6 of carbon dioxide equivalent annually so this that is why we are saying forests are cause of greenhouse gas emission but if we see it more uh, keenly then actually forests are not the cause but the agency that is responsible for deforestation and forest degradation and mostly it is human those are responsible for this right but yes from the forest good amount of it is going back to the atmosphere now forest is also solution how 
forests are also one of the most important solution to address effects of climate change kaise kar sakte hain as i told you when we will put forest we will put a tree a single tree has capability to capture some of the carbon and keep it securely stored carbon sequestration can be done by adding off the tree and when we will be having forest where number of trees will be there definitely they are uh, have they have great role to play in carbon sequestration but not only this besides this approximately 2.6 billion tons of carbon dioxide is absorbed by forest every year approximately 2.6 billion tons of carbon dioxide is absorbed by forests every year and this absorption of carbon dioxide by the forest is in its biomass and also in soil not only in trees but also in soil right so that is why we are saying forests are solution also and this 2.6 billion tons of carbon dioxide that is going to be absorbed by forest every year it is one third of the carbon dioxide released from burning fossil fuels fossil fuel ko jala kar jitna co2 release hota hai uska one third portion is absorbed by forests only so if we will be capable to increase forest area we will be capable to reduce carbon dioxide emission to the or greenhouse gas emission to the environment and that increase in the temperature can be we can't say that it will be stopped but that accelerated rate of increase in temperature can be reduced right now estimate shows that nearly 2 billion hectare of degraded land across the world offer opportunity for restoration right as we are saying annually 2.6 billion tons of carbon dioxide can be absorbed by is is absorbed by forest so we have to increase forest area how we can do that we can utilize degraded lands for forest plantations and in the world 1 billion hectare area is available as a degraded land that can be restored restoration can be done there by doing plantation activities right so if we are going to increase the forests and we are managing the forest in better way we are not allowing it to degrade because of poor management practices then we have definitely a solution to the climate change and here lies the role of forest forest can absorb carbon dioxide in its biomass as well as in its soil then forest ecosystem are especially important in two ways number 1 they are responsible of for cutting down 3 billion tons of anthropogenic means we human activities those are uh, responsible for release of carbon dioxide every year that around 30% of that can be reduced by forests then forest ecosystem are terrestrial carbon sinks in that they store large amount of carbon which accounts as much as double the amount of carbon in the atmosphere atmosphere mein jitna carbon hai uska double amount of carbon can be or is available in forest ecosystem in this terrestrial carbon sink it is available there so forest ha- is actually playing great role in carbon sequestration then if we want to we do not want to lose it we do not want to degrade our forests then there are mainly three major strategies those we can follow for mitigating carbon emissions through forestry activities shivang good afternoon good morning anything you want to ask no so when three major strategies we are saying then first strategy is reducing carbon emission 
that are caused by deforestation and degradation because it is one of the reason you know so if we have to play uh, decide we have to plan some strategy uh, by which we can mitigate or we can reduce carbon emissions then what we need to do or yahan pe through forestry activity it with it is if we need to do it then for us it is important we have to reduce carbon emission from deforestation and degradation number 1 number 2 we have to increase the amount of forest lands forest land kaise aap increase kar sakte ho we have to go for reforestation and afforestation activities right number 1 reforestation samajhte hain aap log do you understand what is reforestation them growing out trees after cutting any one yeah if in any area trees were there we have de for we we cut the trees and then we are planting uh, for trees then we call it reforestation then afforestation yeah anyone about afforestation afforestation uh, is cut, yeah if we cut two trees yeah. we, if we plant uh, more than two नो बेटा थोड़ा डिफरेंट है ए फॉरेस्टेशन ए टर्म यू कैन थिंक ऑफ फॉर न्यू वेन वी आर सेंग ए फॉरेस्टेशन एक्टिविटीज मीन्स आइदर इन एनी एरिया वेयर अर्लियर फॉरेस्ट वॉज नॉट देयर एंड वी आर प्लांटिंग ट्रीज दैट कुड बी ए फॉरेस्टेशन और इफ ट्रीज वर अवेलेबल देयर वेरी लॉन्ग बैक and right now there is no trees in such area if we are planting trees then we will call it as afforestation right so reforestation or afforestation dono mein hi kya hai we are planting trees but difference reforestation like immediately we cut the trees and we are deforesting the area we are putting trees there we will call it as reforestation afforestation any area where either a uh, tree was not available ever or it was present there very long back in such area if we are doing plantation then we will call it as afforestation right so uh, these three major strategies when we are saying number one we have to reduce carbon emission that is caused by deforestation degradation second we can increase the area of forested land by afforestation and reforestation activities and in this we can also do we can increase the carbon density of existing forest at stand and landscape scale carbon density ko aap increase kar sakte hain by giving uh, more uh, number of trees according to land capability and allow managing it properly so that it can grow well right then third aap kya kar sakte ho third strategies these two are very commonly we say that reduce carbon emission that is causing by deforestation and a for uh, degradation second we say that plant more trees right ab yahan pe aap use thoda sa scientific science ki way mein likhoge ki through these activities we are going to do it third thing that can be done is expanding the use of forest product that will sustainably replace fossil fuel emission for electricity and fuel because still in today's date when we talk about we are developing we are developed kind of things we say in today's situation also our overall around 60% of population uh, staying in village areas rural areas using fossil fuel for burning purpose and lot of emission of carbon dioxide is via fossil fuel emissions so it is important we can use forest based product on sustainable manner that can replace fossil fuel emission right and uh, as electricity as a fuel forest based products can be utilized and in that way these are considered as three major strategies worldwide for the purpose of carbon dioxide emission reduction then afforestation and reforestation when we are saying through the trees then basically what these trees will do they will absorb carbon dioxide from the air and then transform it into biomass right and in that way great amount of greenhouse gas can be reduced from the atmosphere second work what we can do through the trees 
see when tree will be healthy tree is better superior then it is going to take up it is going to absorb more carbon on it for its good growth right so it is also important that genetic improvement in trees genotype should be done so that more carbon emission a carbon sequestration can be done so for this what we need to do ab jab forest lagane jao that selection of best genotype should be done so that productivity of the plantation forest can increased as more productivity means more carbon sequestration more productivity ka kya matlab hai agar trees hain tree mein hum zyada productivity keh rahe means what product we are getting from the tree in at most is the timber right so more amount of timber will be there because of the good genotype superior growth of genotype then we are going to get higher amount of carbon sequestered one more thing is important here if we will be having superior genotype or superior clone then mortality during difficult situation it will also be reduced difficult situation when we are saying like drought condition ho gaya pest can, pest attack ho gaye right ya any disease attack is there if our variety our clone is superior it has capability to fight with these diseases or drought conditions then it will not die marega nahi plant means it is definitely grow once these situations will overcome and then the carbon carbon dioxide released to the atmosphere will be will not be there because tree is not dying it will not degrade right so it is very important that we should go for genetic improvement genetically improved trees varieties or clones for plantation but for us so that we can enhance carbon sequestration in biomass as well as in soil then third forest management interventions meant for boosting carbon sequestration we need to go for such management practices those will boost up carbon sequestration and prevent the release of carbon dioxide when we are saying this you know it is directly related to two things number one uh, growth of the tree in that forest number two is less mortality in that forest so ultimately it is about forest management we need to manage the forest in such a manner so that we can have higher productivity less mortality if it will be there means our trees our forests are of high potential for the carbon sequestration so net carbon sequestration benefits are 100% more in managed forest than the unmanaged forests right so it is all about uh, carbon sequestration in forest and forests if any queries are there you may ask please ma'am uh, yes sir can can this uh, um, means order the things hormones or the uh, special tree types are there that help the carbon for the carbon sequestration no beta it is uh, nothing like this uh, any special hormone because when we talk about how carbon dioxide is uh, going inside the tree tell me that first uh, by the leaves yes what is the name of that process beta this one it is uh, photosynthesis photo it yes, is photosynthesis uh, photosynthesis correct mm. yes ma'am yes by photosynthesis it is going in and in, and for photosynthesis enzymes are not required what is required is pigment that is chlorophyll chlorophyll correct so yes, usse kya aap aap logo ne physiology tree physiology are you studying yes se pehle aapne plant physiology you must have studied jahan pe aapne padha hoga photosynthetic active radiations are there photosynthetic pigments are there correct yes, so yes, actually yeah for for carbon dioxide uh, a carbon dioxide in plant is required for photosynthesis and for photosynthesis what is required sunlight is required and presence sunlight. of chlorophyll is required 
करेक्ट सो दीज टू थिंग्स आर रिक्वायर्ड देयर एंड व्हेन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट मुझे लगता है ये क्वेश्चन आपके दिमाग में आया होगा व्हेन वी आर सेइंग वी नीड टू गो फॉर सुपीरियर जीनोटाइप्स राइट यस यस मैम सुपीरियर या या सुपीरियर जीनोटाइप व्हेन वी आर सेइंग दैट इट इज रिलेटेड टू द हेल्थ ऑफ दैट पर्टिकुलर प्लांट राइट जैसे मैंने कहा इट शुड बी सुपीरियर फॉर व्हाट इट शुड बी सुपीरियर टुवर्ड्स एनी काइंड ऑफ अटैक जैसे ह्यूमन बॉडी है हमने कहा ये एक पर्सन है जो बहुत जल्दी उसे डिजीजेस नहीं लगती राइट दैट फेलो इज स्ट्रॉन्ग करेक्ट सेम इज फॉर द ट्रीज ट्री देर आर सर्टेन जीनोटाइप्स आफ्टर जेनेटिक जेनेटिक इंटरवेंशन समटाइम्स वट हैपन्स इनिशियली दैट प्लांट माइट बी ऑफ वी कैन से इट इज नॉट दैट स्ट्रॉन्ग बट देन जेनेटिकल सुपीरियोरिटी और जेनेटिकल इंटरवेंशन आर बीन डन एंड दैट इम्प्रूवमेंट्स आर बीन डन एंड दैट पर्टिकुलर ट्री हैज नाउ न्यू जीनो टाइप्स न्यू फीनो टाइप्स दोज आर हैविंग एडिशनल जीन्स सच जीन्स दोज आर very effective against certain diseases very effective sort against say less water availability in the soil right so these kind of interventions we can do in the trees and then they will show us better productivity because they can fight against these diseases and uh, certain climatic conditions in better way so it is just about increasing the productivity of tree enzymes kind of thing is not there there actually genes will be responsible for it and for photosynthetic activity chlorophyll content and sunlight is responsible okay, okay. okay. is it clear yes ma'am clear okay anyone else no okay so bachcho uh, this is the one that i told you important events and dates related to forest and environment their themes and philosophy this one um, i will upload in your uh, uh, this uh, erp it's also it is just about some important events and days those we celebrate so like uh, us usse pehle bhi ek important cheez bata do about all the important events and dates if their philosophy we say then celebration of any important event or date is basically for the purpose of creating awareness related to that particular thing right kuch bhi hum jab celebrate karte hain it is mostly about uh, creating awareness among um, everyone so that people can uh, restore can save that thing so here also for everything philosophy is like that like जनवरी से अगर हम शुरू करेंगे जनवरी देर इज नो सच मेजर एनवायरमेंट फॉरेस्ट रिलेटेड आई हैव फाउंड बट इन फेबररी वी हैव वर्ल्ड वेटलैंड डे वेटलैंड क्या होते हैं दीज आर बेसिकली वेरी स्पेसिफाइड इको सिस्टम वेयर सॉइल इज ऑलवेज रिमेन सेचुरेटेड विद वाटर एंड दीज आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इको सिस्टम ऑफ आर अर्थ बिकॉज दे हैव role to play in water purification flood control they have very good carbon stock in them they have a specified um, you know biodiversity so they are very important so uh, uh, for uh, increasing awareness about their role among the people to highlight their importance among the people in uh, 1971 it was decided that world wetland day will be uh, celebrated and uh, uh, here wetlands and water was the theme of 2021 every year every such days are celebrated with different themes right so uh 2021's theme is that ab 2022 ka theme will be different right so वैसे uh, i wanted you all to read them so very quickly i will just pass through it kyunki isme samjhane ka kuch nahi hai then 28th february national science day is there and future of science technology and innovations impact of education skill and work it was the theme and again philosophy is the similar basically department of atomic energy wanted to do uh, it and uh, chandrashekhar venkat raman aapne definitely great physicist of our country was there so on 28th february it is uh, considered as national science day by india uh, so that raman effect that was discovered by cv raman sir uh, should be um, you know marked right so that is why on 28th february we celebrate it then forestry ki baat kare ya environment ki march 20 is considered as world sparrow day 
राइट अभी हमने फेबर तक किया देर आफ्टर मार्च आ गया वर्ड स्पैरो थीम वॉज आई लव स्पैरो अगेन हाउस स्पैरो का नंबर बहुत कम हो रहा था सो टू क्रिएट अवेयरनेस इट इज बीन डन देन ट्वेंटी एथ मार्च वर्ल्ड स्पैरो डे नेक्स्ट ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट मार्च इज वर्ल्ड फॉरेस्ट्री डे या इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ फॉरेस्ट भी इसे बोलते हैं वर्ल्ड ट्वेंटी फर्स्ट मार्च We celebrate all these days in our college, also in our department. Forest restoration was its theme, because UN has declared 2021 uh, uh, save forest re- uh, restoration year, decade actually, not year, right? So forest restoration was kept as a theme for it. And here again, to raise awareness about the importance of all type of plants, we uh, ha- have this day to celebrate. Then. In March, 20 March, Sparrow Day, 21st March, Environment, uh, sorry, Forest Day, and 22nd March is World Water Day, right? Again, why? What is the importance of fresh water uh, for the sustainable management of this earth? This day is celebrated. Similarly, March khatam, we came to April. April 27, 22nd, we have Earth Day. Again. थीम वॉज कैप्टज रेस्टोर आर अर्थ राइट ये सब हम रेस्टोरेशन डिकेट के सेलिब्रेशन में सो एवरीबडी ऑल दीज टाइप ऑफ हैव टेकन थीम लाइक दिस एंड हियर अगेन इट्स फिलोसफी इज ऑल्सो टू ड्रॉ अटेंशन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड टू द प्रॉब्लम बींग कॉज टू द अर्थ ड्यू टू मॉडर्नाइजेशन राइट उसके लिए अटेंशन क्रिएट करने के लिए दिस डे इज बीन सेलिब्रेटेड देन नाउ सी वेरी इंटरेस्टिंगली ट्वेंटी सेकेंड मार्च वर्ल्ड वाटर डे ट्वेंटी सेकेंड अप्रैल अर्थ डे ट्वेंटी सेकेंड मे इंटरनेशनल डे ऑफ बायोलॉजिकल डाइवर्सिटी राइट फिलोसफी इसका भी वही है सो दैट डाइवर्सिटी इशूज कैन बी प्रमोटेड पीपल शुड टॉक अबाउट वट आर द डाइवर्सिटी इशूज बायोलॉजिकल डाइवर्सिटी इशूज for that uh, this day is been celebrated and international day of biological diversity can also be named as world biodiversity day okay and uh, 21st ki theme kya thi we were part of the solution do biodiversity ko khatam bhi humne kiya but we are also part of solution we can do it then hamara khatam ho gaya may ka month we came to the june in 5th june world environment day we celebrate i hope maximum of you must know about world environment day kyunki schools mein bhi ise kiya jata hai na then june 17 5th june tha world environment day 17 june we have world day to combat desertification and drought desertification and drought in africa basically desertification problem was very much pronounced so in 1995 to promote public awareness this combat desertification and drought day used to be celebrated then very beautiful enchanting animal we do have tigers but tigers number have suddenly started decreasing so 29th july uh, is considered as international tiger day so that conservation awareness for these wild cats can be given among the population among the people they should understand that illegal poaching killing trading conflicts they should not be there right so for that on 29th july it is considered as International Tiger Day. Okay. Thereafter, we have World Ozone Day. You all know why ozone is important for us. Fine. It is going to man. It is actually create. It is a blanket of our Earth. It creates balance between radiations coming and going out. It is very important to maintain proper temperature in our Earth. So, but it is deteriorating. We know. again to create awareness international day for the preservation of ozone layer initially it was named as in 1994 when it is declared to be celebrated as a day later we call it as world ozone day so july ke baad see uh, uh, june mein hamare paas aaya 
17th june we have after world environment day 17th june we have a day to combat desertification and drought then july end may 29th ko we celebrate international tiger day then uh, no as such big day and during august and in september 16th we have this world ozone day thereafter in october first week of october we celebrate national wildlife week right second week it was uh, initially in 1952 when it was conceptualized to raise awareness uh, of for wildlife among we people we used to have a wildlife day right but later it is converted into week now we celebrate october first week 2 to 8 october as national wildlife week it is for india then october ke baad november mein kuch nahi hai we come to the december 5th december world soil day is celebrated right soil hai tabhi sare plants hain correct so it is very important that we should understand the role of soil we need to protect it without soil sustenance in life a uh, sustenance of life on earth will not be there so to raise awareness about importance of soil we have world soil day and the last one december month we have and in this month we celebrate on 11 december international mountain day right mountains are very very important very unique ecosystem but they have lot of pressure climate change over exploitation pollution ka problem right so to increase attention towards the mountain attention towards the mountains importance this world mountain day need to be celebrated it is said and from 2003 we started celebrating this day right so it is all about important days uh, related to forest and environment we do have so um, uh, kindly go through them from first month towards the last though in between so many other days are there but i uh, in my opinion these are some very important days those are related to our um, uh, well being basically so kindly go through them so it is all about from my side for today um, if any queries are there you can ask else thereafter i will end the class yeah any queries bachcho and also study well for exams aaj ke to exam postpone karna pada but tomorrow it will be there as such okay so it seems there is no query so i am going to end the meeting july is writing something july anything you can uh, use your mic also beta <laughs> okay um so i am ending the meeting thank you bachcho thank you